Welcome to this screencast on using GeoGebra to look at the sum of the interior angles of a triangle and also to add some captions and text. We will begin with a triangle and uh, I think I'll use the polygon tool to make a triangle. So one, two, three clicks and then back to the first we'll finish the triangle. And let's measure one side of this triangle. So within this pull down menu are finding the distance. So I'll click on that. I can select two points. So I'll select A, B. And it gives me a distance. Uh, I think I'd like to select this segment and I'll double click it and go to object properties and I'm going to add the caption this segment measures a length of and I want the length to show up and to do that within a caption if we use percent sign V to give the value, then the length of this segment will show up. I have to remember to turn on a caption when I make a caption. And here's my caption. This segment measures a length of 9.34. Now let's measure the three interior angles of the triangle. So I'll go back to my angle measurement and I'll first measure angle A with the side spinning clockwise is angle A which has been given the name alpha and uh, angle B would be counterclockwise, this angle, angle beta, and angle C would be B, C, A, giving me the three angles of this triangle. Let's add up these three angles. I will use in my algebra portion the input window at the bottom. I will click in it and introduce a new variable. I'll call it angle sum. Using my input bar at the bottom of the window, I will introduce a new variable, angle sum. And I will say that I wish it to be equal to adding up alpha plus beta plus gamma. I hit enter and angle sum has added up these three angles here and gotten 180 degrees. Let's put this result into a text with variables. So I will say the sum of alpha and beta and gamma is, and I want the variable angle sum, period. Here is a preview of what it says. And here is my text. Of course, GeoGebra is a dynamic program. So if I change any part of my triangle, 
then uh, all of my angles will continually change. But no matter what shape I make this triangle, the sum of the angles always ends up 180 degrees. This concludes our screencast.